On April 3rd of 2015, the first episode of Season 1 of My Hero Academia took the world by storm. While My Hero Academia did have a somewhat impressive manga following in the West at the time, it was still nowhere close to being the next Naruto that it is now. Obviously, having its own anime adaptation helped it gain notoriety. But a good anime adaptation is not enough to make a series as universally loved as My Hero Academia. So that lead to the question, what is so appealing about My Hero Academia? Perhaps the most mainstream form of anime is shonen battle anime, but many of the mainstream shows, like it or hate it, are filled with issues that My Hero Academia lacks. One of the biggest issues that still shown in anime is poor handling of the power tree. Obviously, when a series completely focuses on the battles between the characters, said characters need to become stronger throughout the course of the story. However, most shonen battle anime are designed to go on for years and be long-running weekly series, meaning the author has to constantly raise the stakes. And due to the long-running format of these series, you can go from ninja fighting with kunai nai the giant kaiju monster capable of destroying the planet. The characters eventually will wind up so powerful you can't really take the story seriously anymore. It becomes laughable how ridiculous the concept is. However, My Hero Academia does something very, very different. Izuku Midoriya is giving one for all by All Might. And from day one, he is able to call on a tremendous amount of power from one for all. He actually has to worry about hurting his classmates and combat because of the fact that his attacks are so powerful. Instead of focusing on becoming more powerful, My Hero Academia has Izuku Midoriya focus on using his mind to figure out various ways to properly utilize his quirk. And it's not just Izuku Midoriya. While some characters do obviously have very powerful quirks, it all really comes down to how they use these powers in combat. Ochako, whose quirk is far weaker than Bakugo's, is able to place herself in a situation where she is very capable of winning her fight with Bakugo, despite the large difference in the power of their quirks by using her quirk very creatively. My Hero Academia also introduces a power ceiling. By the end of the first season, it had been established that All Might is the most powerful character in the verse. A little bit stronger than All Might or around his level of strength is the power cap of the series. It's pretty clear we're not going to get any planet busters in this show. This prevents the need to introduce stronger and stronger characters every arc. You've already established what the peak is and you can just simply show the character getting to that peak and fighting people along the way. Izuku is also far different from what we are used to with the typical shonen protagonist. While he does have a somewhat of an underdog backstory, it is very interesting to see a shonen protagonist that really thinks and fights with his brain the way Izuku does. Most of the time, while shonen battle protagonists are smart in combat, they're not smart in the way Izuku is. They're really good at coming up with plans in the moment and thinking of ways to get out of fights during the fight. Izuku studies his opponents and formulates plans to beat them and helps other formulate plans to beat their own opponents and it's something very different and refreshing. Due to the way the power system is set up and weaker quirks being able to compete with stronger quirks depending on how well they are utilized, this allows My Hero Academia to keep its male and female side characters relatively strong to the main character in terms of strength. Ochako doesn't need to be as strong as Izuku to be just as useful as, say, Toradoki. But above all else, My Hero Academia subverts the audience's expectations while still satisfying. I can think of no better example of this than Izuku Midoriya vs. Jojo Toradoki. In every other mainstream shonen, the main character always makes it to the end of their tournament arc. Even if they don't win it, they normally make it to at least the final round. This isn't just in shonen battle manga. In most story with tournaments, the main character almost always makes it to the very, very end. Enter My Hero Academia. In the first match of the second round, Izuku Midoriya faces off against Johto Toradoki and is defeated. This man doesn't make it to the final match. Hell, he doesn't even make it to the final round. He is taken out in the second round of the tournament. The entire fight, the audience is sitting on their seats, waiting for the moment that Izuku will win. Because of course he will, right? 
So then when he is defeated, it is the most shocking thing you have ever seen. And this could easily have been disappointing, but it isn't. Izuku's fight with Toradoki is oozing with emotion and backstory and personality. The fight leaves an emotional impact on the viewer with Izuku giving up his win to teach Toradoki an important lesson. I think it's entirely possible that if Izuku wanted to win that fight, he could have. But it wasn't about winning. It was about teaching Toradoki to accept himself and getting him to accept his fire quirk. My Hero Academia takes all the things we love about shonen battle anime and it does them very well. It takes the things we are used to seeing and does them just slightly differently. It does the underdog story that we are so used to seeing, but instead of having the main character be a complete idiot, idiot, he's actually basically a genius in terms of analysis. It fixes the power creep problem early on, allowing all the characters to feel equalized and have the same amount of importance. The powers and abilities are different and creative. It's new and different and has a much higher quality than the rest of the shonen anime we are used to seeing. So personally, for me, the biggest appeal of My Hero Academia is that it takes the shonen tropes that we are used to seeing in all of our other favorite shonen and just does everything 10 times better. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description box down below. Subscribe for more videos, and above all else, guys, have a great day.